My name is Tim Brent. I am the coordinator for this event, and I also am the uh, program director for the Contemporary Voice Program here at Miami Dade Kendall Campus. Thank you uh, once again for attending this wonderful event. We have a number of featured performers you can see uh, on your programs. Uh, we have some distinguished faculty. They're incredible artists, they're incredible educators and teachers, and they inspire our students every day. And we're so glad to have them with us and to, for them to share some of their artistry with you tonight. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, would you please help me welcome to the stage our very first performer. This is Professor Kat Reiner. So, the first song that I'm going to sing isn't on your program. It's called Sir with French on Top. And uh, I grew up in Wisconsin. And the microphone's doing that. And no, it's a cool place, but with lots of open spaces. And uh, I own, my mom owned a Surrey. So, Surrey is like a buggy that your horse pulls down the road. And my mom would make us ride in it, and I was always really embarrassed. but. As I've gotten older, it's been kind of fun to imagine that spaciousness. So this is kind of an homage to the spaciousness of that. Chicks and ducks and geese better scurry when I take you out in my surrey. When I take you out in the surrey with a fringe on top. Watch that fringe and see how it flutters when I drive them high step and strutters. Nosy
Also, the order on the program after this is a little mm, out of order. Uh, so this is called I Thought About. Took a trip on a train and I thought about you. I passed a shadowy lane and I thought about you. Two or three cars parked on the stars, a winding street.
Tim Brent. So a couple of months ago, I gave myself an assignment to learn a really difficult vocal tune. Um, and if you're not familiar with Joni Mitchell, she's kind of a vocal master um, of lots of different things. And uh, she did a record with Charles Mingus, who's a bass player. And uh, there's a tune on it called The Dry Cleaner from Des Moines. Um, and it's not about a dry cleaner. So uh, not even close. And it's not even about what the words are really talking about. Um, so you can have some fun figuring out what that is. <coughs> They keep you reaching for your wallet, you're in fool's paradise. I talked to a cat from Des Moines. He said he ran a cleaning plant. That cat was clanking with coin. Oh, he must have had a genie and a lamp. Cause every time I dropped the dime and do it, he kept ringing bells, nothing to it. He got three oranges, three lemons, three cherries, three plums. I'm losing my taste for fruit. Watching the dry cleaner do it. Look at it. You get a little lucky and you make a little money. I'm calling him down the strip. He picked up a boot at Circus Circus where the coppers fill the room with their feet.
Matt Benelli on the bass. The last song I think I actually sent to Dr. Brent incorrectly. It's supposed to be page 49 is the name of the tune. Um, and it's mine, which is even funnier. So, <laughs> I know. Uh, about 10 years ago, I started writing songs and uh, found that it was one of the most favorite things that I get to do. Um, and I've learned a lot about song crafting and song writing. Um, and uh, about a year ago, I had a student who passed away. She was 93. And I had taught her for the last 20 years. So you can do the math on that. And she had, her husband had passed away like long before I ever met her. And she never really spoke a lot about him, but over the years of knowing her for 20 years and going to her house every week to give her piano lessons and have tea, because that's what we would do, um, she, I learned stuff about her. And she had this house. And so this was inspired by her, called Page 49. She plays piano as he smokes his last cigarette In a little cottage in the country like where they first met In a tattered one-out suit and tie He offered her a drink and a smile And he said open this book and take another look inside On page 49 Open this book and take another look inside And you will see what I He remembers how her hair used to blow in the wind How they would dance and they would dance until a new day would begin She would laugh and she would cry But he would be there by her side to say he opened this book and take another look inside Page 49. Open this book and take another look inside, and you will see what I left behind for you to Stands to offer his hand for one last farewell dance. But knowing that their time together doesn't have much more to last, he'll leave tomorrow and she'll be all alone until she opens that book and takes another look inside on page 49. She'll open that book and take another look inside and she will see what he left behind. To open the book and take another look inside on page 49. To open the book and take another look inside, and she will see what he left behind for her to Thank you so much. Thanks to Tim, Matt, and Jeremy. Awesome, thank you so much. Um, I'd like to welcome um, a colleague up to the stage. Uh, this is Dr. Jeremy Fox, who's going to be singing next. So this, uh, this first piece, 
is a arrangement or derangement of uh, orange colored sky. It's just, I have to confess, I really don't like this song. <laughs> <laughs> but a client was uh, asked me to write an arrangement of this for their vocal group. And because they were a client and because they were, you know, this is the song they wanted. So normally it's like medium swing and I just couldn't take that. Uh, so I, I kind of deranged it or dearranged it here. And this was about the best I could come up with for this tune. So I don't know if maybe you like the tune. I'm sorry if you like this song. Um, <laughs> just <laughs> is it really? <laughs> anyway, this is Orange Colored Sky. I was walking along, minding my business, when out of an orange colored view, oh, flash, bam, alakazam, I gotta look at you. I was humming a tune, drinking in sunshine, when out of an orange colored view, oh, flash, bam, alakazam, I got a look at you, one look and I yield timber. Watch out for flying glass. Cause the ceiling fell in and the bottom fell out. I went into a spin and I started to shout. I've been hit, I've been hit, this is it. I was walking along. Minding my business When love came and hit me in the eye Oh, flash, bam, alakazam Wonderful you came by Ooh out for flying glass cause the ceiling fell in and the bottom fell out I went into a spin and I started to shout this is it this is it this is it I was walking along minding my business when love came and hit me in the eye Bam, Alakazam, wonderful you came by, oh wonderful you came by.
Wonderful you came by. Wonderful you came by. Oh, oh, oh in that orange colored sky. Oh, neath that orange colored sky. Hoagie Carmichael and Mitchell Parrish. Uh, I love this, love this song, especially for its lyrics. It's kind of a magical lyric and kind of allows, allows me to try to phrase. So this is called Stardust. And now the purple dusk of twilight time steals across the meadows of my heart. High up in the sky, the little stars climb, always reminding me that we're apart You wander down the lane and far away Leaving me a song that would not die Love is just the stardust of yesterday Music of the years gone by. Sometimes I wonder why I spend, spend those lonely nights dreaming of a song. The nightingale tells its fairy tale of paradise where roses grew when our love was new and each kiss an inspiration but that was long ago and now my consolation is in the stardust of a song beside a garden wall when stars are bright you are in my arms a melody haunts my reverie and I am once again with you though I dream in vain Stardust melody, the memory of love's
And I have this ongoing love affair with Brazilian music, and especially Bossa Nova. So, though I am pretty far away from being a Brazilian, <laughs> figure I will give this a shot anyway, because my love of the music is stronger than my skin color. So dance so samba, so dance so samba. Vai, 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 vai. So dance so samba, so dance so samba, vai. So dance so samba, so dance so samba. Vai, 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 vai. So dance so samba, so dance so samba, vai. Já dancei o twist até demais Mas não sei, me cansei Do calypso, cha 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 So danço samba, so danço samba Vai, 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 vai So danço samba, so danço samba, vai
So dance and samba, so dance and samba by Mash now sail, twist a teji mash. Mash now say, me can say, do ka leap so a cha cha cha. So dance and samba, so dance and samba by. So dance of samba, so dance of samba, bye. Bye. stage, uh, Dr. Tim Brandt, sing for you. So, the, we're going to start, the program's a little bit about, out of order, so we're going to start with a song that's just going to include Professor Benelli and myself. Uh, we talk about um, students, making sure that you have a good time, that you have an internal metronome, that you have a good sense of pitch and rhythm and all that stuff, so... It's really, I think the best way to do that is either to play with a drummer and really be able to continue and really work on your, your, your harmonic and your melodic senses without having some instrument with the piano reinforcing it. Or you can work with a bass player. And so you can try to hear the harmony that's going on if you know the song well enough with just the bass playing. So I think what we're going to try to demonstrate, hopefully it's successful, is that <laughs> I know this song so well that I can sing up and around it without having to have the piano being for it. So I'm just going to just do voice and, and bass. So this is, um, uh, this is my romance. Um, you know what I thought we could do? Maybe I'll just start with Talk about the metronome. I'll just start by myself. So I'll demonstrate to you and to the students out there just how important it is to have that internal metronome going all the time so that you know where the time is and you are in control of the time. And you're never really dictated time by anybody in the rhythm section because you are the time. My romance doesn't have to have a moon in the sky. My romance doesn't need a blue lagoon standing by. No one of them, no twinkling stars, no hideaway, no soft guitar. My romance doesn't need a cancel ride rising in Spain, nor a dance to a constantly surprising refrain. Wide awake, I can make my most fantastic dreams come true. My romance doesn't need a favor. Show by today. My romance doesn't need a castle rising in Spain. My romance doesn't need a blue lagoon standing by. No month of May, no twinkling stars, no hideaway, and no sorrow. My romance doesn't need a castle rising in Spain. No, I dance to a constantly surprise and refrain wide awake. I can make my most fantastic dreams come true. My romance doesn't need a thing, but you should never, 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 never blow me. So by the way, so da 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 ya da 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 So ba 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 ba
stage, back to the stage, Dr. Jeremy Fox, Mr. Jeremy Whitman, and, we're, and my portion of the show, and I'm going to close right now, is, uh, this one's, I, I learned this song originally in about, when I was, I guess, 18 or 19 years old, and somebody had told me about King Pleasure. Uh, it's an interesting name, King Pleasure, it's actually a guy, he was a singer, and what he was known for was that he was the crafter of what we call a vocalese. Vocalese is the art form where you take uh, an improvised solo and you write words to it. So this guy, King Pleasure, came along and first it was Eddie Jefferson and then King Pleasure and then John Hendricks and so on. So on, there's like this whole lineage of people that do this. Um, and when I heard him do this for the first time, I just, I fell in love with it. It was so interesting to me that you could take a, an improvised solo and make it something of your own by adding your own lyric to it. So this song is called Don't Get Scared. It's, uh, it was recorded by King Pleasure and John Hendricks, so I'll play the roles of both King Pleasure and John Hendricks. Uh, and it's, well, don't get scared. Remember what I said 
anyone so busy that could easily surrender is all so up so so hard and for a little bit of but better off dead. So when your knees get to knocking a hole in your stocking, you better call your all. And if it's not around, you better make it look all on sweet Georgia ground to find out where to fall when the sun goes down. Just in case you let your trouble get you down. You should be a scatterbrain, clinging in the brain, barely feel the pain. Never think of all the pleasures, all the treasure it will bring. Understand, be a man, yes you can. If you want the Lord to spare you, don't let nothing wear you, tear you, share you, don't let nothing scare you. This is where John comes. I heard what you said. And I know you're trying to tighten my head. I'm telling you, Daddy, I don't mind the daytime. It's the wrong and wrong and play time. But in the night, the slightest incident could give me a big fright. When the sun cuts out, things get darker, and I'm certain without a doubt. Imagine every goblin's on near me. about Red Riding Hood. She toddled off to her grandma's place. But the wolf, she met her as she ambled through the woods, won the race. Now a story such as that could bring you joy, but who it scares a little boy? How I wish I were a man, acting like a man can. Until I start getting bigger, I'll just have to learn to face fear. Cause if I did, just like you said, I never would be scared. Don't you get scared 
When you see danger facing you, set up la ba do do ba do way. Do do Jeremy Whitman on the drums, ladies and gentlemen. Jeremy Whitman on the drums. Uh, it's with great pride and joy that I introduce our very last performer of the evening, uh, Miss Wendy Peterson. Can you be any cooler? <laughs> Just like so relaxed and. Oh, sunglasses. That's how you could be cooler. The only way you could be cooler is with sunglasses. <laughs> to Irving Berlin. Uh, he's one of the most prolific songwriters of that whole Tin Pan Alley time. And the, you know, his most famous, I think, is Cheeky Cheek, and, and one of the most recorded songs of all time was um, White Christmas, and he wrote that. So I decided to kind of dig a little deeper into his uh, catalog. So I found some kind of obscure-ish tunes. Um, this is one called, Isn't This a Lovely Day? The weather is frightening, the thunder and lightning seem to be having But as far as I'm concerned, it's a lovely day. The change in the weather will keep us together. So I can honestly say that as far as I'm concerned, it's a lovely day.
Thank you. So um, I've gotten into this bad habit of mashing songs together. And uh, I can't seem, it's really becoming like an addiction. I can't seem to stop myself. And so every time I learn a new song, something happens to me and I'm like, what song can I do that with? Oh, I can put it with this one. I don't know, it's just some kind of weird sickness that I have, but uh, I, I, I don't want to be cured. If loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. <laughs> so this is, uh, these are two tunes that um, are kind of about the darker side of love. So you're welcome. Say it isn't so Say it isn't so Everyone is saying you don't love me Say it isn't so say that you found somebody new and it won't be long before you leave me and say it isn't true tell me everything is still okay that's all I need to know and what they're saying But how about me? It's over, all over. And soon somebody else will tell their friends about you. But how?
Brent. Thank you. I have to say, I think I think that might be the most self-indulgent, you know, like sad ballad there is. Like, like, yeah, sure, go on, move on, but what about me? Well, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for spending an evening with us. Uh, a round of applause for all of the performers tonight, Dr. Jeremy Fox, <laughs> Professor Kat <clears throat> Reinert, Jeremy Whitman, <laughs> Wendy Peterson, Matt Benelli. I'm, I'm Tim Brent. Uh, uh, it's very cool. This, yeah, there we go. It's very cool um, that one of the cool, well, there's lots of cool things about being an educator. Um, and one of the really cool things is when you get to see your students uh, grow and study and, and learn, and then uh, transition into a higher level of education. 
And so uh, it's with great delight uh, tonight that I let you guys know that uh, along with the University of Miami family, like, like Professor Berenson, sorry, Professor Reiner, <laughs> <coughs> Professor Fox, all these people, we all have a, a one thing in common besides the love of music, um, that we all attended the University of Miami. And it's with great joy and delight that I get to tell you that uh, Jeremy Whitman will actually be attending the University of Miami <laughs> next year. So he will uh, officially be a, uh, one of these guys, yes, who will be a cane. So ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you so much to my colleagues who have come to attend and, and, uh, and support us, to all the students, and to, of course, <clears throat> the sound crew, Marco on the video, everybody, you guys, without you guys, wouldn't, it wouldn't be anything. So we're going to finish with, uh, it, I guess we have to do it, right? When you're here, we just have to do we it. We don't always have to do it, but Dr. Greco is in the house, and when Dr. Greco's in the house, He's so powerful that uh, we do the song, especially for him. And this is uh, a song that I wrote. It is a blues. It is uh, completely fictional. It is not autobiographical whatsoever. But it is called, They Call Me the Takeout Queen, because my man won't deliver.
Dr. Tim Brintz. Thank you. And Wendy Peterson. Jeremy Fox, Kat Reinert, Matt Benelli, Jeremy Whitman. I'm Tim Brent. Wednesday night, right here, R&B Ensemble. Wednesday night, 7.30. Thank you, guys. <laughs>